Samsung's Galaxy S26 Ultra is once again at the center of major chipset discussions, and this time, the story takes a familiar turn. After years of back and forth between Exynos and Snapdragon processors, it seems Samsung is bringing back the chip lottery depending on where the phone is sold. Recent reports suggested that the Galaxy S26 Ultra would come exclusively with Samsung's new Exynos 2600 chipset, marking a huge change for the company's top-tier flagship lineup. This would have been the first time in four years that the Ultra model relied solely on Samsung's in-house chip instead of Qualcomm's Snapdragon series. However, new information now paints a slightly different picture. According to the latest report, Samsung will still launch a Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 variant of the Galaxy S26 Ultra, but it will only be available in select markets. This means that Samsung is once again dividing regions between Exynos and Snapdragon versions. Just like the older Galaxy S21 and S, the two Ultra models, dot the Snapdragon-powered S26 Ultra will reportedly be sold in the United States, Japan, and China. Meanwhile, markets like South Korea, Europe, and most other regions around the world will get the Exynos 2600 version. This setup clearly mirrors Samsung's older strategy, where the same phone offered different experiences depending on where it was purchased. This move confirms Qualcomm's earlier comments suggesting that Samsung would continue using it. Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor, but only for certain regions. For others, Samsung seems confident enough in its new Exynos 2600 to take on the performance challenge head-on. The Exynos 2600 itself is shaping up to be an impressive chip. Early reports claim it delivers huge performance gains, up to 15% faster CPU speeds, and as much as 75% better GPU performance compared to the previous generation. In AI processing, the numbers are even more surprising. With claims that the Exynos 2600 has six times the AI power of Apple's latest CHIPSET dot in comparison with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, Samsung's own tests reportedly show up to 30% better AI performance and nearly 29% higher GPU power. These are bold claims, and if accurate, the Exynos 2600 could finally help Samsung close. The gap between its in-house chip and Qualcomm's market-leading processors won. Reason for these potential improvements lies in Samsung's design approach. Instead of combining all the components into one chip, Samsung has opted for a separate modem chip, freeing up more space for CPU and GPU cores. This design helps improve overall performance and efficiency, allowing better thermal control and sustained power. Even with these promising numbers, some fans remain skeptical. The Exynos brand has had a mixed reputation over the years. Many Galaxy users still remember past issues like overheating, faster battery drain, and lower gaming performance compared to Snapdragon variants. Because of that, Samsung may face some challenges convincing buyers that the Exynos 2600 can truly compete with Qualcomm's best. However, Samsung's confidence in its new chip shows that the company is ready to change that perception. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to feature the same premium experience regardless of the chip version. From its high-end camera system, advanced display to its AI-driven features and battery efficiency improving. And still, this regional split will likely lead to performance comparisons between the two variants, as seen many times before. Benchmark results, gaming tests, and battery life reviews will once again become a hot topic among fans and reviewers. The Exynos 2600 will be under the spotlight to prove that. Samsung's decision was the right. One dot this also means that buyers in countries like the US and Japan may continue enjoying the Snapdragon advantage, while those in Europe and South Korea will be getting Samsung's own silicon. It's not necessarily a downgrade, but it does revive that old feeling of inconsistency that many hoped was gone after the Galaxy S23 series. Despite this, Samsung seems determined to take full control of its chip ecosystem. The Exynos 2600 could be a major step in that direction, offering higher efficiency, powerful AI capabilities, and deeper integration with Samsung's One UI software. If these claims hold true, the Exynos version of the Galaxy S26 Ultra might finally stand shoulder to shoulder with its Snapdragon counterpart. In short, the Galaxy S26 Ultra marks the return of the regional chipset strategy. Snapdragon in the US, Japan, and China, Exynos everywhere else. Whether that excites fans or disappoints them depends entirely on how strong the Exynos 2600 turns out to be. Either way, one thing is clear, Samsung is betting big on its in-house technology once again. And the Galaxy S26 Ultra could be the ultimate test of how far the Exynos line has come.